Let's, been let's talk about this, this podcast. One, the, the buzz. You remember that? I'd be like, no. No, <laughs> no we don't actually. Like, no. Which, which buzz? <laughs> the Bennett buzz. This podcast is brought to you by the Bennett Brothers. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Bennett Buzz. And we are in Nashville, Tennessee with Hunter Holland, James Mason, and Mac Eason over here. I love how it caught me right when I was adjusting. <laughs> I feel like I wake you up every morning, I'm not going to lie. Like when you're down here on the couch and I'm like coming down to make breakfast. <laughs> I went over songs at 7.30 this morning. Like, well, that makes me feel better about it. <laughs> yeah, no, I, was, I turned over and I looked over and Max is over there slapping his bass doing this. I was like, it is too early for this. <laughs> I rolled right back over. Doing that. I mean, yeah, sorry. Just yeah. Hey, I mean, you, you were like, I, I kind of, I kind of enjoyed it. It was kind of soothing for me. I'm just hearing the first time no basis. No, in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, says it's that and the yeah. smell of bacon at like eight thirty from James over there. That's it, baby. And blueberry yeah. coffee. Uh, yeah. Okay, that stuff is amazing. Damn, it is. It really is good. It's my blueberry coffee, not my regular coffee. Yeah. Hey, man, look, man, it's my, it's, it's my. I don't have a right this morning, so I'm going to sit here and. Just What's the difference? Relax. I don't drink coffee. I wish I did, but. What's the difference between blueberry coffee and regular like, coffee? Blueberry, I mean, like blueberry coffee guess. Tastes, like, it tastes like blueberries. Guess, Hunter. Guess just what the difference is. Coffee just tastes like mud water to me. Like, every time. No, like, dude. I love coffee, man. Like, I hate the idea of Starbucks. I don't know why, but. Yeah. Just the big corporations, Hunter. Just, Let me go in there and have, like, three yeah. pounds of sugar and something. I don't know. I just, like. Now, when I go to Starbucks, I get, like, a. Any, I literally walk up to the counter. I'm like, I want something caramel and frozen. <laughs> like, I don't care what it is. Just give it to me and add a shot of espresso to it, and I'll be happy. <laughs> what is espresso? I know it's it's like a question, crack a is what it is. It's, it's like, crack. It's like, caffeine. So it's like just, coffee is beer, and like espresso is liquor. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's, okay. That is honestly one of the best like explanations yeah. of what espresso is. <laughs> Dude. I like how we can start this podcast, and I can just let y'all talk. And like, I don't, like I don't, I don't, this I don't is dangerous know. for us to be recorded in a Dude, public it, scenario. It's so fun, though. I, I like it. <laughs> look back on the podcast, you know? Yeah. Yeah, but like, why do we do that? You know? Yeah, it's going to be great. That? Pretty much. <laughs> this is going to see the light of day, and we're all going to be like, yeah, we need to take this down. <laughs> all right, so to start with, I'm going to ask you a little bit about, ask Hunter some questions. Um, So playing in Nashville, uh. Around the area, where all have you played other than, I mean, have you just been played at the Valentine on Broadway right now? Yeah, I did that. Um, before I moved here, I did uh, two, no, I think I did a, I did a, like a 90s cover Sunday afternoon with James. That's actually where I met James. Um, yep. And um, that was my first one. And then the second one was like a week later. Um, and I was coincidentally up here like looking for houses slash kind of like living with Connor, hanging out. Yeah. Um, and I did a writer's round, um, which was super neat. And then I think that's where James and I kind of like reconnect and we're talking about like, well, where do you have a place to live next year? And then it kind of went from there. Yeah, it worked out. I feel like y'all, all of y'all's minds collaborate with music, with everything. Yeah. yeah. I remember I – text in our group chat and was like hey i need somewhere to live next year and mac text me was like maybe and then he disappeared <laughs> for like three weeks i was like okay what does that mean who was it who was supposed to live with us before like who did we was it cody i think it was cody i don't know not me everybody that was so up in the air for so long i just i mean it worked out i found something that it would, really did I, I feel like i knew that would work so that's kind of was like but it worked out i mean wait yeah. the drummer we'll get along no, uh, no. Well, songwriter. <laughs> well, the Valentine the other night was awesome with you, Thanks, Mac, and, you, Mac, and Connor. It was a lot of fun. Like that's something that like anybody who doesn't play music doesn't really get it and understand. But for us to all three, like Mac plays with me a lot. Obviously, he's my bassist. But yeah, <clears throat> for Mac, Connor, and I to get up there and just like honestly get paid to goof off like it's such a great feeling and it's such a fun time we always have a you know a, a decent crowd um and it's just usually like just a great time we get to go up there and play a bunch of songs that either from the 90s or earlier into hip-hop rap like newer stuff and yeah. we make it work and it's just a good time it really i liked is. it i got a clip too i'll throw it in here so y'all can listen to it i see a dust trail falling in a red nowhere baby blue eyes your head on my shoulder Oh, 
sunset river bank first I'm feeling <laughs> That set we play is like I mean that's like the highlight of my Amazing. week sometimes. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. I mean that's something we would do at home. Yeah. I know the highlight of my week is when Connor plays on Friday nights and everyone's there. Everybody, we all yeah, just everybody go just goes. Just <laughs> Where does he play yeah. at on Fridays? He plays at Valentine's. Valentine? Yeah, he plays main stage with full band and it's yeah. always. I think I should get back on the road more often, honestly. Like, it's nutty on Fridays. It does. Yeah. <laughs> It's no, probably like no comment on yeah. that. Yeah, I'd probably be more like you know, calm down on the road since I gotta work. Like <laughs> I, thought, I thought the same thing. <laughs> yeah, honestly, like, <laughs> he's gotta earn no my comment key, again. Like, no com, no comment. <laughs> uh, no, it's fun though, dude. Going out on the road with you guys was a good time though. Um, yeah, dude, we had fun. That was fun. Yeah, we ended up at that um, frat house at like. Four in the morning after we got done playing that no night. <laughs> no, I mean, no like, comment. honestly, like, no. it, were, it was just like we're going in there, like, digging in their ice machine, getting a bunch of ice for the cooler we had and random stuff. And yeah, they were cool. I mean, you know, yeah, yeah. yeah. it was a good time. Really, like, a, it, was a, it was a good time. Yeah, I, I saw y'all at, uh, at study hall. Yeah. That's whenever I met you mm -hmm. and you opened it. it was, it was awesome too. That was fun, dude. Clemson like doesn't bite well on like some artists that come through there. Yeah, but like I was I was walking down the stairs and I think he was playing some. Um, what were you playing with Zach Bryan? You said or something? you played yeah. Zach Bryan and everybody was losing. And these it already. girls were just eating him up, like just yeah. like going insane. Like. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I'm convinced it was the light green shirt I had on. That was the. It, that it, was it. Dude. He fought me for like that. <laughs> that was know, it. Yo, he literally fought me for 20 minutes about this shirt. He's like, "Should I wear it or Sorry. should I not?" Yeah, wear no. It? Well, I mean, I, I don't wear light clothes. Like, I never wear white shirts, especially when I play. And I bought that shirt at Target that day because I was getting low on laundry, and um, <laughs> I was like, I was like, I put it on and walked in, and I was like, "There's no way I wear this tonight," <laughs> but. It ended up being a great night. No, it was fun, dude. I had a good time. I remember it was hot. It's always hot. It was like, I felt like it was 300 degrees in that room. But I feel like, like the AC gets cut off just to get people to buy more drinks. Like, yeah. it's that kind of. It's brutal. It was fun, though. That was a good night. It's, uh, yeah, it's definitely one of those things. It's like, I've come to, to just like, it gets so hot and you're like, the last thing you're thinking about is like, being on stage at yeah. you know for after a three three and a half four hour set you're like man I love I would love a bed right now oh, like, in a hot shower like nothing <laughs> yeah. in the world that's would the be best better. thing because I live like five minutes from there so after we play that was, I miss that the worst part of that weekend was the, the hour and a half drive every night yeah. <laughs> it's like yeah. it's four a.m. Yeah. and it's like well guys we got a two hour drive and we get in bed at six a.m. and then we're up at like 11 <laughs> yeah, we, think we, we gotta go some again progress. yeah, yeah. Like, but you know i think that's all what makes it like it's it it's is. part of it it's such a yeah. fun journey right yeah. now yeah, it was fun yeah no i mean this is definitely a part of it we're like you get to do like all this stuff with your friends because eventually like everyone's gonna have to start going different like say like directions just because of like what they're suited for, but like, yeah. Well, I mean, it turns into a job after a while, yeah. and like it is now, but like at the same time, it's like, yeah, no, it's crazy being here with you guys. Like, I've never seen like so many, like every single day, like somebody have to do like four different things for like their music business, you know, like writers' rounds, making business calls, rehearsals. Like, it was like every single day, y'all yeah. were and y'all were like staying the cycle, you know, like. I've been able to witness like full time musicians, you know. Yeah, yeah. I almost feel bad. We've been so busy. Since yeah, I do here. too, man. Like, I'm sorry, like, and dude. Like, that's kind of. I mean, I just, I just wanted to come to Nashville, man, and just. Yeah. It is, but it's usually not like this chaotic. Like this week, it's. I don't like, know. I mean, like, it's, it's pretty, typically it's, it's pretty typical week. I feel like. And it's like. I mean, I feel like we're, we've, you know, we've, we've got chilled some... here for a while. I mean. I, yeah, I mean, yeah. today we didn't have anything. Yeah. You know, yeah, so that was kind of nice, but. Something. Yeah. Well, I mean, like two weeks ago, I mean. There were days where it was 80 degrees outside and we were hanging out in the cul-de-sac. That, yeah. It's going to be, it's gonna be then, 70 something tomorrow. Oh it's going to be so good. And I got to, <laughs> I'm going to be going all day. Go to work, yeah. You got to work? I got to write and then work. Well, now it's a weekend. I mean, tough. 
All right, yeah. so you were yeah, talking. All guys have to do the rest of the week now. You were talking about that uh, light green shirt you had on. Yeah. We talked about in the podcast that we try to do. By the way, this was supposed to be our guest for podcast six, but that didn't go yeah. well. Um, I recorded with a metronome backtrack the whole time. But anyway, so do they know what a metronome is? I think I think they do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you were talking about I forgot what what this topic was, but you said like something about you showed up and somebody told you like not to wear shorts or something. No, it wasn't shorts. It's like I guess as a musician, when you go play, you gotta wear like you gotta do the whole black jean thing. Yeah. You know what I mean, I finally got a pair. Yeah. I'm so excited. No, that, I, wore I, them. I wear them all the so time. Dumb. And I'm like, I always like, I love black, like yeah. just the color in general, but like I look so bad in it, I feel like. I feel like I never wear black pants unless it's like a suit for like a, yeah. you know. One of the thing on that podcast was like, he asked me like, I don't even know what the question was, but I basically got to the fact where like the first time I, a few times I played with Wade, like I was like, how's my plan? Like, you know, like what do I need to fix? He was like. No, your play is good. You just need to like dress better on stage. You just look like. Yeah, he was like, I was like, you just gotta like dress better on stage, and I was like, noted. So, Max a fi- fashion icon to me. Yeah. I don't know. I just don't. I, don't know about I just that. don't care half the time, dude. I just, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You, I mean, you Hunter, hey, listen, Hunter. sweet child of mine. Your voice in that song, it's amazing. It's kind of funny because that started as such a joke. It was my old drummer Logan would come and like. He was like, dude, like, we should do, like, some rock. And we started off with Home Sweet Home, the Justin Moore, like, yeah. edition of it. And we're like, man, this would be cool. And we ended up somehow ending up on Sweet Child of Mine. And it just worked out. And, like, everybody just screams it. And it's just, like, really cool. To, it sounds good. Because I can't play guitar, like, half as good as the guys that I always have with me. Yeah. And so I just, like, just sit there and kind of look at them just as a patron in the crowd, like, when they start hitting those first licks. Yeah. But, yeah, it's definitely like one of those magic licks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this one. I mean, this is one of those in the first like five <laughs> seconds. Everybody knows what's yeah. coming. I had a little video of Jake uh, playing the solo to that song. He was going crazy with it. Yeah, it's like stuff like that in Mr. Brightside, and like even like in Teenage Wasteland, how that builds. Like that stuff's just infectious. Like yeah. you don't gotta hear a word, and, and you're just you just already, know you know it's in. coming, and you're like, yeah, yeah. it's the hype. That you is such it's it. part of the hype. I just like songs and like. I just like being around like other people in Nashville like that are better at writers than me. Like it helps with that, but like I just like songs that feel good. So I guess yeah. like that was cool yeah. tonight. I try to going to that, that to songs the best I can. Going to that writers round tonight. That was really cool. Dude. It was yeah, tonight was a good one. I mean, it's like I know the the this round is always a good one. Yeah, yeah. I liked every single song. Yeah, no, it's cool. Like I think everyone that plays yeah. it signed. Really? Oh, are there really? Yeah. I think so. I was going to say, there's some, like, true talent, you know, like, sometimes you'll stumble in and it's like, oh, they're good. And then other nights you walk in and they're like, oh, my God, like, yeah. it's like she has well, a great voice or he's killing it in, like, this or that or whatever it may be. Um, and, and like, the way I was, when I, when I first moved here, the way I got explained to it is, like, in our hometowns, you know, we're one of the better musicians or artists or writers or whatever that lives there. Yeah. yeah. Then you move here and everyone's the best from where they're from. Yeah. You know, so this it's is like, like going to the NFL from college. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're with all the I best mean, all the no, best yeah, players. I agree. You know? I agree with that. You know, it's like I mean, everybody moved here to do this for a living. So, yeah. you know, that's what everybody's kinda of grinding yeah. and doing it. Yeah. Which is fun. You know, it's, that's what like it's I feel like the people I've met up here have motivated me more than anybody I've met yeah. ever. Yeah. Which is nice living with like two other people that are doing music. Yeah. Like granted they're like gets to a point where that's like everything that's happened in this house is that. It was kind of like a culture but shock. I'm like just glad know. we finally got a TV. Side yeah. note. But Honestly. <laughs> I, we're not even going to talk I'm about the lot. adventure of getting the TV. I, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But. I mean, I'm a, we do I'm, have a TV. I'm a lot less productive. How hard was be, eh, how hard was it to mount that? I mean, took for, all three of us. For me and James, it wasn't that hard, but Hunter definitely. He didn't do the heavy lifting, but Hunter did like the. Here he, comes my microphone. Did like I the, had to drill all the yeah. Wood. He's, he yeah, he said it. Into it. The Hunter was yeah. the worst. If Lita sees this, she's gonna be pissed. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta wood. I gotta put some putty up and paint it and all that yeah. stuff yeah. first. But we'll figure it out. Looks good though. Yeah. Thanks. The guys are. Like, they literally told me for like 
a few days that were like, yeah, like, I think it's cockeyed. <laughs> like, and I can't, it kind of got in my head, and I was like, is it cockeyed? Like, I was, I was thinking well, I mean, about it. I, it's at an angle I, right it, now. But yeah, I, so honestly, I, I think like, I still the think TV is, but... is so heavy because it's from like years ago. Like it's the first flat screen I think that ever. Dude, my my out. TV. It's a good TV. My TV yeah, in my living room. I found in a dumpster, and it nice. and uh, it was like moving out of the cottages. And Same. Like, that is That's such a huge thing. Dude, it's basically, awesome. You know? it's awesome, dude. I mean, <laughs> I was moving out of the cottages in Clemson, and like, uh, whenever everybody ends their lease, like everybody and a lot of like foreign exchange students that go back home like it costs more to ship that over than, than it does to just buy a new one so they were just leaving all their stuff so like i went out it was pouring down rain there was a big flat screen tv it was kind of older and it was sitting out there uh and it had a bunch of water in it and i put it underneath the porch let it dry out like five days and then i turned it on and it worked perfect i don't That's have a, a remote great for story it. i forgot yeah. about that part of college where like it's so sick when like pe- so like obviously when I'm like, seniors moving out and yeah, stuff seniors moving out the juniors can just you know see what's getting left outside of apartments and like i got some cool stuff and then it's i like, got like right, a well, that's ours you were now. fighting that mic stand dude i'm sorry yeah, i you know i am i had to bring it over here because it was just kind of far away from me i mean i'm not I, holding this cable so i'm gonna try i know that's what i would do but no talking about like college i mean i would just like i just threw a lot of my stuff away yeah I mean, yeah. It was like, it's not, you know, I mean, just little, little knick-knack stuff that I knew I wasn't going to use again. Yeah. And then I came up here and moved up here and had to buy it again. Like, yeah. <laughs> I got my desk from somebody's house. I just left it. It was a nice desk. There you go. I, I like, had no idea that Facebook. Marketplace. I guess, like, I knew it. I just didn't, like, utilize it. But I think half of the stuff in this house is from, oh, from yeah. Facebook. Like, That's what I did when I first moved in. I decorated my whole house with Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> everything. That TV, I was like waiting. Like I went to I went to Walmart and I was like, I'm buying a TV today. Like we made we made extra two hundred dollars. Like I'm buying a TV, and I get on Facebook and I like, or I walk into Walmart or wherever it was. I think it was Target, and we go in and I'm like, ooh, that's like five hundred dollars. Like I definitely yeah. don't have that money. Yeah. <laughs> Thought I did, and then Facebook, here we go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, no, we're not gonna go too in depth to it. But like we had to go get that, and it wasn't like we didn't have to like fight or anything, but like. <laughs> It was a weird experience. What, the household that had the TV? Yes. Yeah, That's was, all that there was. Yeah. It was weird. Dude, these we two. We thought we had the wrong remote for a second because, like, we thought we had their <laughs> remote because we were just trying to get out so quickly. Hunter Hunter and Mac, y'all two go on adventures. It's hilarious. The other day, they, like, I don't know, like, I don't know where it comes from. Like, the other day, they were like, we're going to go grab lunch. And I think I had, I, I don't know what I was doing. I was doing something and I couldn't go. You might have been at work, I think. I was either at work or I was no, going to a... you were leaving re- to go out of town. Oh, oh yeah. That's yeah, right. Yeah, I was yeah. going home. And um, I'm like, all right, well, if you guys are going to be back by four, they're like, well, we should be back by then. I was like, well, I might come meet y'all or something. And then all of a sudden, I get a picture from Mac and they're at the Parthenon. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, wait, what? And I just what? get a text saying, snuck into field trip. Yeah. BRB. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> no, like we 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 got a whole entire like history lesson on like Greek gods and stuff because this field trip was there. We like wa- okay, and so Hunter and I are just. It sitting, sounds a lot no, worse no, no, than it we was. We didn't infiltrate a field trip. We were just in the same building as a field trip that was getting a, a lesson. Oh yes, yeah, and so we're and I'm sitting here like wow, Still, like, dude. I was like, they went to go to somehow, Cracker Barrel. Like, like, Jackson, the the thief that was filmed, <laughs> like. Like, it, was, it was cool. My question is, whose idea was it? it like, was obviously mine. It was like, it was hey, obviously. it was his idea. I know, I know, it's a little bit of a drive. Well, but let's go downtown. We were out, and Max, like, have you done anything like non-tourist, like or non? Where it Just really stemmed music. from was like, n- like not Broadway. Like, let's go somewhere. Let's right. go do something that or don't have anything to do. Like, anything like let's go do something like just weird but fun. Yeah. And we like. Looked it up, and lo and behold, some TikTok was like, go to the Parthenon. And so we went by Vanderbilt, and we're like riding by looking at the baseball stadium. Like, oh, this is cool. And then we see the Parthenon. We're like, let's go here. Dude, Centennial Park is actually pretty fun. Like, yeah. I've never – I have st- I still haven't gone to the Parthenon, but um, I want to sometime. What's, cr- it. what's crazy it's cool. is, is we've been here, like, not as long as so many people we know. And when I sent that picture to everyone, everyone didn't just know was, was, where is that? Yeah. What is that? We're like, so well, there was Nashville, like, I mean, part of, uh, it was cool. I had no idea that Percy Jackson, the lightning thief was filmed there. And like, Oh, is that where it was? Really? Yeah. yeah I didn't know that. What? What's, was and, it Medusa, the statue? Was that it? Or it was, it was no like, idea. it was the Athena statue, I think. And it yeah. had the, 
Oh yeah. Does the, it? Did know, it have? I had the Infinity Stone. You remember, like the the, the creature, or whatever, like the three headed creature. It, it, the that, cyborg. Yes. <laughs> no, dude, kidding. that's Harry Potter with the dogs. You know. No, no, no that was uh, Percy so Jackson that, too. No, yeah. yeah, I know. Well, they're both like, like that's like it's the I know the you're talking. Like, it's the Severus or Severus or yeah, I, forgot. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I'm what it is it's the it's the basically like the guard dog of the underworld. Yeah, I was really into mythology. <laughs> dude, I love that stuff. Those I got the, into that's it. That's the kind time. of like books. If I read a book, it has yeah. to be something like that. Yeah, but he was the, uh, I, I believe, it was like he was the guardian of the underworld or something like that. Like he was Hades' dog. Yeah. We moved in here and like, I'm in my early phases of writing and like learning to write and getting better. And I moved in and both these guys like actually like truly love it and are, are very good at what they do writing wise. And, um, Okay, don't even, before I get any further. I don't want to fill their head too much. And, um, <laughs> yeah, like, so I kept coming home because when I was trying to go to flight school, I'd be out doing stuff, like getting set up. And I'd come home, and they're like, hey, like, we're working on this. And I'd be like, okay, and I'm hopping in, like, last We should minute. definitely write a song, by the way, after this. No, no, after no, this. no shot. I got to no. take one to the airport what at time? four. Yeah, I got to uh, be at the I airport at four. Four in the morning? Yeah. I guess you're right. Oh, yeah, my. About that. So, Y'all be quiet. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to bang pots and pans. But... No, what I was yeah, getting at was. I ain't getting to sleep because of me. <laughs> 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 I ain't getting to sleep because of me. <laughs> oh. But I'm walking in and, like, every few days they're having these bangers, like, ideas. And we just sit down and I'm like, hell yeah. Like, let's ride on that. That's yeah. cool. And we did. um With this pen and pad. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm sorry. I don't know. No. I just feel so like I can capture my ideas when I'm out. No, a dude, a it's a real thing. Like I know, uh, whenever I get into like writer's block or whatever, which now I mean it, it happened a lot more before I moved here, but now yeah. just you know I kind of stay in it. But um, it would help me just writing on pen and paper. Yeah, yeah. like just kind of like throwing a bunch of stuff down on I've gotten used to phone notes now but I was the same way yeah I'm yeah. excited to kind of get away same. for a few days and we get ready to go I'm taking my guitar and I'm going to write yeah I know um you got the mm-hmm. nice guitar now yeah dude that thing is sick I appreciate it man what is it what's uh, can't wait to throw Gibson. it out a window yeah <laughs> <laughs> no it's just Straight exciting I've had so sign, many dude, like just... bad guitars it was like not bad guitars I haven't taken care of them I will completely say that and like you're gonna do it with this one though, I know. yeah I feel like yeah. you like like a guitar is like a nice pair of sunglasses like you finally get a nice pair and you like kind of have to keep up with them or yeah. always put them back in one place I don't know something. how my neck hasn't came off my guitar yet I mean I feel like I sling that thing around you should probably not do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an old banger up starter guitar, you know. Everybody yeah. has to have, I feel like, two terrible guitars. Yeah, like that you like either put stickers on in college or yeah. you know. I feel like because we have a guitar that I played my first gig with, and that's a whole nother story. But uh, <laughs> everybody and really. everybody who was with us who like made me go and do this gig because I was like real apprehensive about doing it. Yeah, I went and did it. And they were all like, all right, now, like, let's sign the guitar. And I'm like, no, this is like a $100 guitar. Y'all aren't signing this. Yeah. Like, And then we ended up, when I got a new guitar, I was like, all right, everybody sign it. Like, it was there. I like that. So, I have a dollar bill from the first gig I ever made. And all of my, it's like, the everybody who was in the bar signed the dollar bill. And I was like. That's impressive. It was just cool. I mean, it wasn't like it, it was all all ten people were there. No, yeah, I'm yeah. just kidding. It was no, dude. So sorry. I'm just gonna feed off of that. The first gig I ever played was I was 16, and um, it was like so. This guy that banked with my dad did music just for fun, part time in our hometown, and uh, so he like was playing at the local bar and was like, you know, hey, bring your son. Like we take a 20 minute break in between sets and so like he can hop up and do a few songs and no when i tell you it was literally just my dad the guy that was playing and the bartender three people and i knew two songs at the time i just started playing guitar and so for 15 minutes i played two songs three times (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> that's how bad it was dude it was so bad i was like oh my dude, and i, I loved have, it i used to have this music stand that i would like 
read lyrics and stuff off like, like, just like with a, a church, notebook like, do you yeah, have a notebook yeah. yeah i had a notebook and then i had an ipad like when i like yep. figured out i could like scroll and like go to a different song or look something up real yeah. fast yeah i had the ipad too for a while and i don't uh, now i don't take anything when i play i just yeah, if i I, I can usually either figure it out or fake it mm. it took me a, whole, a long time to like get the confidence to get off of that and it was i actually connor was with me and was like we i went to a gig and i'm like dude i forgot the, like the my ipad and he was like uh, it sucks. You gonna like actually try and like play music? And then it was like, <laughs> all right, like let's go. Yeah. And it was the first. That one was bad. It wasn't bad. It was. I mean, I mean, obviously, like you, you get to a point where you can either do it or get out you of the took way. Took off the training wheels, you know? Yeah, yeah. right. I feel exactly. like with songs, like with chords, I'm like good. Like I don't have to look at like chord charts <laughs> for songs, but with lyrics, I, just being a drummer and not really paying attention to remembering lyrics as much i feel like that's my struggle like if there's a harmony coming up for a chorus and we've yeah. played the song a million times i'll still like mess it up like there's so many word. songs are like unintentionally so for some reason you get wired in your brain that they're the exact same and you yeah. i mean you start memorizing well, cause a lot 70 of 80 are, songs I mean, for a four-hour set yeah and it's like Things just start going together. Getting mashed, yeah. Especially yeah. when you put a little bit of fatigue or like on the road or, you know, alcohol in or anything. I mean, yeah. it just completely just derails your, your brain. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. you even see these people that are like, even the big artists that'll go on tour and, I mean, it doesn't happen a lot, but sometimes, you know, they're like, oh, I forgot the words to the song. Yeah. yeah. And it happens. Wrote it. You know, I mean, yeah, it's yeah. their song. I mean, right? I, went to, I went and saw Co Wetzel and uh, that he, he was playing a song like the little... They had the, it was a meet and greet. So it was like, we got to meet him. And then it was like, a and, little, greet him. It was, and, <laughs> and greet him. And it was like a, it was like an acoustic dinner thing. And he played a song and he met, he forgot the lyrics halfway through and then just started playing a completely different one. And everybody loved it. Cause they thought it was like, Oh, cool. Co, like he's, he's like, he's human. He's a, he's a Co, real That's person, so funny. You know? yeah. 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 It's crazy. Now having been on the music side of things for so long, like, I forget how other people view music and, you know. I get that. And someone that doesn't have like our, our perspective on music or just our love for it, I feel like when you go see a show like that, it's completely different. I was You're sitting at dinner and yeah. talking the other night. experience with, like, yeah. entirely. I, I, was, I was talking with, uh, I can't remember who I was talking with, and they were like, I have more interest in meeting the people who are writing these songs yeah. than the ones who are singing them. Like, if you're a writer and you're writing this cool stuff, like, I, yeah. 10 out of 10, that's yeah. what I want to yeah. And I think, like, people who aren't in music, they just see, you know, whoever's they don't, up on stage. Yeah, they don't really realize. And there's so much more that goes on well, in I mean, I didn't even realize, town. I didn't realize that the biggest songs out there weren't even written by most of the artists, like I, I had, yeah, I didn't, I, mean, I had no idea about that until like a few years ago, and then I was yeah. like, okay, that makes perfect sense now. Well, it's like, I mean, it, that's like a Nashville thing, though. I mean, Randy Travis didn't write. Well, especially Randy, right? like, I mean, well, it was, nowadays it's more. You have a lot more singer songwriters than you did yeah. in the eighties. Like in the eighties, you had singers and songwriters, and not a lot of people wrote their own songs. Yeah. But you, but there was also a lot more money in the business at that day. Because yeah. I mean, then. Like, I was listening to this podcast, and it was like, you know, in the in the 90s or something, you know, you get an album cut, and it said, you know, if that album sells X amount of copies, I mean, you're still making half a million dollars yeah. off just an album and cut. And also, like, before streaming came out, right. you know, whenever, I remember in middle school, I... I I spent money on songs like dollar twenty nine or whatever. Yeah. Dude, on yeah. iTunes. Dude, I'd be spent. I, I oh, bought dude. like six hundred. They're still on my phone too. Yeah, man. Every every phone. Christmas and birthday, that was what I got. The iTunes I would gift get card? fifty yeah. or hundred dollar gift card. Yeah. And that was it. Wow. I remember what one of the songs I had on my like iTunes, which I don't think I only ended up with fifteen songs. On like an iPod Nano. Real quick. What I remember is Clarity by Zed, and that was like my that was my iPod Nano. Did I have some like Skrillex? I had some. uh, Did y'all ever have the ones where the headset went over with the you put the CD in it? Yes, dude, I know exactly. Yes, I had one of those. Yeah, I had, and I had uh, the Beautiful Letdown. That was the one album I had. The Switchfoot album. That was what I had. That was what I like when I really started getting into music. That was one of the albums that I. Really dug into. I'd like, like take my dad's like CDs out of his truck. He'd be like, "Where the hell's that CD at?" 
you know that John Mellencamp? Oh, that's in my book bag. Yeah, Sorry, Dad. Like <laughs> he, he gets so mad. My uncle like basically like handed me down for Christmas. It was like his whole like collector thing of DVDs, like the books, you mm-hmm. know. Well, they used to slide the DVDs. I guess people don't even have those anymore, oh. probably. Well, you don't need it anymore. You know yeah. what I mean? Now it's like you want to hear a song, you can look it up. CD players, I guess, in cars anymore? Is that a thing? I don't so? know. Not a lot of cars have them I anymore. I wouldn't think so. But I don't think mine don't. does. We go to gigs um, still, and we get asked by people, when are y'all going to make a DVD? We get that a lot. A DVD? Dang. Isn't that for movies? Like a like a CD. You want a VHS? Oh, CD. <laughs> well, like a CD. I guess a CD. Yeah. Well, no, yeah. I, well, I mean, I feel like it's still not. It's not that irrelevant yet. Yeah. Like you could get away with having CDs now, and well, vinyl's coming back too. Yeah, vinyl's now that vintage. Cool. Eventually, VHS tapes. Are I mean, like yeah. people were putting out vinyl records VHS now, probably more than they did. <laughs> I mean, we can only hope, man. Yeah. Like I have the What's Wizard of Oz. You remember when you would and now take a. Take them like, like a movie, put it in, and it's like at the end of it, and you got to sit there like stop yeah. and oh, rewind. Yeah, yeah. Be like, so crank it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you ever do that? Like take it out, yeah. and like yeah. and spin it with yeah. your hand. Yeah, yeah. That's we crazy. had to be some of the last kids. It's crazy. Crazy. we were. And look Definitely. at how much easier like all of it one. is. Like we don't even think about that anymore. Now, now when click, Netflix click, doesn't load, yeah. I get mad and start throwing stuff. Yes, yesterday, I think Connor was. Was saying something about this Wi Fi is like, you know, you notice that it's being bad. It was, I was like, yeah, Hunter, like it's been slow. And he was like, yeah. And then I was pissed about it too because, like, it is slow. Yeah. Like, See, I'm, it's Wi Fi. I mean, this, 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 this is a miracle. It's not like, slow to me. This. Is it? Is it getting It's slow? gotten slow. My Wi Fi is like good for like two weeks and then it gets know. slow again. And then I restart it and it's good for like a week. And... I'm so convinced and like, I know that I, this is like probably completely false, but like, Every time a new phone comes out, your phone starts screwing getting up worse. Like a little bit, yeah. Every like six months, you got to go like reboot the internet or like call somebody well, and yell at them, and it gets better. I don't know. I mean, I feel they, like they have to do that to make. I mean, they make the devices I'm, to only last. A I'm few telling years. you, I think something came out like a, not too long ago that that was like uh, that was by design. Like they wanted the phone to start failing when it. Yeah. Is that like a software thing or what? I mean, I don't a, know. I could be completely it's probably wrong. Probably in the iOS downloads that you download. It you got to read that user agreement. It's like yeah. <laughs> yeah, twelve page agreement. Dude, I, are you, I would, do you agree to your phone just tanking in two years? I mean, it, it, I haven't read the have whole thing. Seen, I have no idea. Have y'all seen the South Park? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're not gonna talk about it. Dude, but, I, I yeah. love how, I love how you talk about a situation. Like, <laughs> have you seen the Simpsons episode that? Or like the Family Guy episode, dude. The Simpsons called crazy. the future. Yeah, Isn't that's that crazy. Yeah, that's a wild thing to think about. Like yeah, they called a lot of stuff. I like that. have looked at that in in like deep moderation yeah. recently because, or with deep moderation because I'm like scared to watch some episodes because you look into it and it's like, dude, are they? They call flying <laughs> houses in Breaking here. news: Hunter Holland scared <laughs> yeah. of the Simpsons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, we got the title right here. Hunter, Hunter's scared he's going to see an episode where like he's on it, and you know, like something bad happens. I'm <laughs> out. <laughs> the I'm out. Simpson predicts Hunter Holland's. Tomorrow. Okay, but if you were on an episode <laughs> just, of The Simpsons, that would be like you the made most it, iconic then. thing ever. That's like there's making it, yeah. and then there's like I was on The Simpsons. <laughs> yeah. Like that's making I mean, it. Like, yeah, I'd watch it and be like, well, at least you got eight months. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'd, be like, I'd start the timer. This, 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 this is cooler than anything that's probably going to happen in my life. So, I went yeah. sky. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Oh, you're you're going to write a number one, and then we're going to get to, like, embellish it, you know. And, and then I'm going to just take it from you and put my yeah, name yeah. on it. James Tootin Mason. What yeah. did you just say? James Mason <laughs> Oh, it is an <laughs> idiot. Yeah. <laughs> I read it up there on the thing, and that's why every time I come down the stairs, I always see James Tootin. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, first and last name. <laughs> I know. Yeah, James and I just both just don't go by our actual names. No, nah. his name is Matt Dalamu. Yeah, mine actually it's it's Mackenzie Johnson Eason. <laughs> nah, like, well, I was about to say <laughs> his I never parents knew. really wanted. I girl. never knew this. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, I wish I would have sold it better. I feel like I could have might have even gotten my parents on. I would have believed it. Because yeah. Mac McKenzie and Mac, like I got a I got a buddy that's named McKenzie. Like it's, Yeah. Yeah. Dude, sometimes I meet people and they're like, is Mac your real name? I'm, I'm no. What is your and, real name? My real name's John. So I told I knew that. So I told him it's John. Like, what, then why? I'm a, my middle name. And what's they're like, what's that? And I go McKinley. 
They're like, well, they're Max not in that either. And I'm like, I've had people just call me a fraud because of my name. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's just a whole identity crisis you didn't expect to have that day. Like, it's... Damn. I guess I really <laughs> I released those songs with my middle name and not my last just cause yeah. just for just for fun. I mean, just that's for fun. I mean that's what I did. I you know I, I I go by James Mason. That's my first and middle name. I feel like Cody Allen is way better than Cody Willis. Cody Allen, either He's one. One hundred two point. No, <laughs> so well, Cody Allen has the, the okay, whistle one hundred right, yeah, in the morning. Yeah, yeah. He needs to be a country artist named like one hundred two point well, no, five. Cody the, Allen. CMT. He was a CMT guy. Yeah. Hot yeah. twenty. Yeah. yeah. He does whistle one hundred in the morning. I don't know what that is. I wasn't but. named after, <laughs> <laughs> but cool. I guess it's upstate South Carolina, the country radio. I guess is that just is Greenville? he from is South Carolina? Greenville? I don't know. Is that just Greenville, or is that like a whole? Area? What is the retro like radio station in Clemson slash Greenville slash retro? Whatever? It's like old like eighties like nineties country. Uh, music rock cool rock one hundred one point one. I know what you're talking about, dude. I think it was one hundred. 102.5 is pop. Yeah. No. Oh, that's pop. 102.5 was the country radio where I grew up. It was 102.5 WKUB. Ours is like W something, something. It does the same thing. And then we got the Wolf, man. I don't know if you guys know about the, the Wolf. wolf 97.9, yeah. nothing but like 70s and 80s rock. Dude, I like rock when I They always hit that. It's the Wolf. Listen to uh, 102.3 <laughs> Fox, 102.3. Like that. It was a classic rock radio station. They had John Boy and Billy, dude. dude that's, it was like, yeah, that's what I grew up on. John Boy and Billy John with Boy my and grandpa. Billy was killer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He'd, I, like, have, he'd, have to, he'd start turning it down, though, because they'd start like talking about some like inappropriate stuff, and he'd like turn it down for me on the way. Recently, to... they're allowed to talk about like anything on yeah. the radio. Yeah. It's kind of weird because like when I was growing up, like it, I mean, it, was, it wasn't that way. It wasn't bad. Like it, you know, it wasn't rated R material, but it also wasn't what it is now. Profanity. Yeah. Profuse profanity, like yeah. I don't even listen to the radio anymore. I've I don't I barely ever listen to it. I I don't I don't I really just stream either. music. Well, and I was gonna say that earlier about how I thought there's something to be said though for not being able to hear exactly the song you want to hear all the time. Yeah, because you get, I feel like just the scope of what you're hearing is now but is now smaller. I know for me, like I I do like to listen to like certain stations. Yeah, whether it be like. XM or something like that because it does show you new music that like yeah, I wouldn't yeah. go look for either just way. the quality is not as you good know? as if you just play it from your phone though that's also something I feel like sometimes yeah. or at least like whenever I like the radio comes on in my car it's like at night it's normally like a mashup of different things are you good, James? <laughs> just nothing either, dude. I what time stu- are we at by the way? I, I had the say, stupidest we side of time, and it is Twelve twenty-seven. All right, well, God, to get in the bed. It's been a great podcast. It's a little bit different <laughs> it's for been you guys, interesting. Yeah. dude. This is like I love it, man. Thanks yeah. for doing it. I thanks guess. For, thanks right. for having me. Yeah, thanks, yeah, thanks for being for here. Us, dude. I mean, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This is a good podcast. Just a little nightly Nashville conversation. So yeah. sweet. It's been wonderful, man. Thank you. Yep. Awesome. Yeah, Take man, care. Thanks.